My name is Cassidy Foshling and I was born in Elkhorn, Wisconsin on September 13th, 1990 at 5.18 a.m. to the parents of Anthony Foshling and Twyla Doherty. I am the youngest of three. My half-brother Trey is the oldest and I have a full sister Stephanie who is the middle child. When I was two years old, we moved to a trailer park outside of Sauk Prairie, Wisconsin where I lived until I was 16. My parents were part of the working class. Both of them were only high school graduates at the time and had both come from working class families. Growing up, I remember spending as much time as I could outside. I was always running around, riding my bike, or playing at the park with my siblings. I remember being happy, feeling loved, and seeing my parents work hard for everything we had. Even though we didn't have much, they taught me how to have a good work ethic and the importance of a dollar. When I was five years old, my parents divorced which even though it was hard at the time, it was the best choice for everyone. Luckily, my mom didn't move far. She actually got a trailer only a few blocks away from my dad's. This allowed me to see both of my parents each day. I honestly had the best situation I could have hoped for with divorced parents. At the beginning of second grade, my mom got remarried to my stepfather, Sean. He was a great addition to our family and was always involved in our lives. He shared in practice pickup, making sure our homework was done, and making dinner. This August, my mom and stepdad will celebrate their 20th wedding anniversary. Around the time my mom got remarried, my dad met my stepmom, Lori. Lori had two young girls of her own named Jamie and Sandy. Jamie was the same age as my sister, and Sandy was six years younger than I was. My dad and stepmom dated for five years before getting engaged. They were engaged for another five years, and then they married in June of 2008. I attended a rural school in the Sauk Prairie School District. Although there was a growing Hispanic population, many of the students came from white, working, or lower middle class families. In about third grade, I knew that I wanted to be an educator. I loved school and always wanted to help people, so I thought the best way to do this was through education. I wrote this poem in fourth grade about how I wanted to be a teacher and knew that wouldn't be possible without working hard in school and going to college. I also had a wonderful fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Patterson, who was everything I hoped to be as an educator. Her bubbly personality, her love for learning, and her kind smile are what I remember to this day. So after fourth grade, I made up my mind that I would do whatever I needed to to become a teacher. I attended Sauk Prairie High School. It was here that I was able to find out more about myself I tried a variety of things such as marching band, student council, multiple sports, and volunteering at a local elementary school. My time spent in the elementary school solidified my desire to pursue education after graduation. During most of high school, I also worked at the local McDonald's. This job taught me a lot about being responsible, time management, and how to work towards the things that I wanted. My fondest memories from high school were my time spent in sports. I participated in track and basketball for two years, but my true passion was cross country. It was my time spent here that taught me the importance of being part of a team, pushing through when things get hard, and never giving up. It also fueled my love of running that I have carried with me into adulthood. In June of 2009, I graduated from Sauk Prairie High School with honors. At this time, my plan was to attend UW Lacrosse in the fall to pursue my dreams of being a teacher. During the summer after graduation, my plans changed and I decided to attend UW Baraboo Sauk County for my first two years of college. I continued to work full time as a manager at McDonald's and worked towards my associate's degree. I graduated from UW Baraboo Sauk County in May of 2011 and finally made my way to Lacrosse. Over the next two and a half years, I continued working towards being an educator. I completed clinicals at Emerson Elementary and Eagle Bluff Elementary. These placements taught me that I wanted to work with primary students. Since my degree is middle childhood through early adolescence, I had an elementary and middle school student teaching placement. One was at Emerson Elementary in second grade and the second was eighth grade math in Viroqua. Both were great learning experiences and helped me prepare to be the teacher I am today. In December of 2013, I graduated with my Bachelor of Science in Education and a minor in Math. Two people who have been very influential in the person and educator I am today are my fiance Ryan and my mom. Ryan has taught me how to come out of my shell, stand up for myself, and not take things so seriously. 
My mom always valued education and insisted that we had good grades growing up. She always wanted us to have more than she had, and that included a quality education. Her guidance and continued support has taught me to never give up, work hard for what I want, and always treat others with respect. Many of the things that I do in my classroom are influenced by the things my mom has taught me. Just as my mom always taught me, I teach my own students to look past a person's exterior and see the person that is inside. I also let my students know that I believe in them and that they can do anything if they put their minds to it. Another influential person in my life is my sister Stephanie. She has taught me what an incredible work ethic looks like and the true meaning of always finding a way to do the impossible. This has influenced the teacher I am and the 110% I tried to give each day in my classroom. My sister has two daughters, Tegan and Sadie. These two are the ones I think of when I reflect on my own classroom and myself as an educator. I think of all the things that I hope for them and use that as motivation to be a better teacher each day. After subbing in the spring of 2014, I landed my first and only job at Wyville Elementary in August of 2014. I am currently in my fourth year teaching first grade and I absolutely love it. Wyville is a very small rural school in the Toma Area School District. There is only one teacher per grade K through five and we have a total of about 125 students. This means I am the only first grade teacher, which at times can be tough, but I have great support from my colleagues. We are a close staff and are more like a family. Working here, I have learned the importance of working together to best serve the needs of our students, how important it is to make a connection with each student you work with, and how to be flexible in the classroom. I'm so excited to see where my future will take me.